Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today we have Alok with us. Hey Alok, uh, thank you for accepting this uh, request. Thank you for having me, Shreyansh. It's it's a great pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thank you. So so guys, I'll just brief you like how I met uh, this Alok. How I'm able to invite him. <clears throat> then at least we'll go ahead and ask more questions. There was a message I had Alok ka. He he got placed, and uh, he was preparing. काफी दो एक दो महीने से प्रिपेयर कर रहे थे आप जाने के जर्नी तो आई रिक्वेस्टेड इन कि क्या अपनी जो प्रिपरेशन जर्नी है थोड़ा सा आप हम सबके साथ रोड मैप शेयर कर सकते हो एंड ही एक्सेप्टेड द इनविटेशन एंड हियर वी आर टुडे तो टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई एम आल्सो एट द सेम पेज एज यू आर वी बोथ आर वी बोथ डोंट नो कि कौन है आलोक तो लेट्स गो फिगर आउट कि आलोक है कौन कैसे डिफिकल्टीज आई कैसे इन्होंने चैलेंजेस को ओवरकम किया and then we will congratulate him ki sabko janne ke baad hum congratulate karenge aapko <laughs> thanks a lot chance thank you lot for having me into this whole and uh, again it's a great pleasure to be here chance yeah so alok uh, my first question is like uh, can you tell me something about your like which company you were working on what tech stack you are working on how many years of experience you have और क्यों एकदम से चेंज करने की आपने सोची व्हाट वाज़ द जनरली द रीजन बिहाइंड चेंजिंग सो जनरली बेसिक इफ यू कैन जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस अस ओके या सो सो बेसिकली आई वाज़ वर्किंग इन लंदन बिफोर वर्किंग इन इंडिया सो आई वाज़ वर्किंग इन या आई वाज़ वर्किंग इन अ फिनटेक कंपनी एंड द कंपन it's it's all over like uh, across europe uh the, the thing is uh i was working as a backend engineer there specifically working on go live we were developing a lot of uh, services in order to automate all the services basically we were working on automating things and publishing all the things on the uh, on, the, on the production service uh the reason why i changed the, the company is because i got laid off uh my role was uh, affected due to the laid off uh, layoff and then i had to i had to look out for a job the challenge was uh it's it's a bit different than the normal layoff because i was there in a different country on a visa sponsorship so then and there like you know you had to uh find out a particular job with a skill visa a visa for a sponsorship because without that you won't be able to stay in the country in the first place so that was the reason and i've been looking out for a job as you have mentioned earlier like you know for two to three months and uh, like you know uh, it did not work out because uh, we had a challenge because uh, when you apply for a particular job and if a company is uh, like you know uh, uh, going to sponsor you for a particular job it it takes a uh, like you know uh, a good amount of money or like a good amount of money goes into the sponsorship for a particular okay. company so as we all know that you know the situation is pretty tough so company was also like preferring a lot of candidates who were like local candidates I okay and uh, uh sadly i had to come back to india because you know again you you get a particular time by in order to stay before before you get a job with a skill work or visa sponsorship just not to over stay in a particular in a new country i had to come back and find out a particular job and in other words i would say ki ghar se hi mujhe fir se rozi roti mili <laughs> so yes uh, i had joined uh, a company called as epam systems as a senior software engineer and i've been like you know it's been one month now like tomorrow i'll be completing one month nice, nice. as an exp uh, as a total number of experience i'm going to be completing 6 years now i've joined uh, like you know the professional sector uh, in 2017 uh, and my tech stack i've been working as a full stack uh, engineer but i would say like 70% weightage will go to my front end engineering skills and okay. 30% weightage will go on to the back end engineering skills. so okay so i look uh, being in a like 6 years of experience and when you were laid off when you get this news were you already preparing for the interview how was your preparation was uh, like you were already preparing or then suddenly how what what was your after steps after this one So at that particular time, I was not preparing for anything. But as soon as I came to know that you know my role has been affected due to the layoff, then and there I had to start preparing for 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 the job. And uh, since I had few months, uh, like you know, in my hands, so I was preparing for the companies in London. But I had a plan B as well. But that plan B 
was like, you know, I wanted to implement it once I do not have any option left for choice saving. That is to get a job with a skilled worker, visa sponsorship. Now coming back to this, uh, like, you know, uh, study strategy, I, uh, I personally use a lot of job portals. Again, you know, uh, I recently have uh, shared, uh, shared, I've shared my experience on my LinkedIn post and thanks to you, I, I've got a reaction from your side as well. So, uh, I got a chance to connect with you. So you commented, congratulations. So it's, it's a great pleasure to see your message there as well. So, uh, first of all, I, I actually preferred a lot of uh, job portals and, uh, LinkedIn jobs was one of them. A lot of people, like, you know, while going through a job, you go through a lot of information. I saw a lot of people not recommending LinkedIn job. First of all, I want to recommend each and everybody LinkedIn jobs as well, because you get these kind of challenges everywhere. It's not something like, you know, every platform is so promising that you don't get any problems. And LinkedIn job is like a job portal itself. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was using job portals, uh, like LinkedIn, Indeed. Then I was also using Glassdoor as well. Great. The one thing which, 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 uh, yeah, the one thing which helped me a lot was, uh, on the LinkedIn job itself, I, I like, you know, used a lot of filters okay. and using the filter right is a key to success, I would say. And again, you know, uh, like, for example, you found out a company and you see that there are a hell lot of uh, people who have applied for it. Mm -hmm. Like you can say, uh, see it clearly that 200 plus applicants are there. So in case you want to, uh, you want to stand out, what you can do is, uh, on the job description itself, you know who posted it. Mm, yeah. So you you click on their name, and there is no no uh, uh, like no bad thing about reaching out to somebody. Yeah. You are actually helping out the recruiter mm. to save their a num number of hour hours which they are going to invest in finding out the right candidate. But it is just that you have to be very prepared. You have to be ready, and you have, your profile should be as strong as possible because you are competing with a lot of candidates. Got it. Right. So, so, so I was, I was, I was, uh, like, you know, looking out for that. And then again, I was, I was, uh, using, uh, LinkedIn search. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, you can do something like, uh, your profile space hiring. So, for example, yeah. I was looking out for, uh, like, you know, full stack engineer space hiring. And then I used to press enter. You could see a lot of post people, uh, like, you know, uh -huh. had already shared on LinkedIn. You can, you can see clearly, uh, some manager has already shared, uh -huh. some like, you know, employee has already shared. So it's again, you know, uh, simplifies the job. So yeah. you could also filter this out. So I was, I was trying this out. And in case you don't want to, you don't want to like, you know, comment on the particular post, what you can do is one, take one step ahead, reach out to the same person. Okay. And please, please, please do not do this, uh, like interested in the comment. It, it it's, it's the horrible thing you can, you can do. Like you see a post, you see a legit post, the person is hiring and then you just comment it interested and see like, you know, that person will reach out. I'm personally telling you our recruiter gets hundreds and hundreds of messages or maybe, you know, yeah. uh, 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 like connection requests on a daily basis. So even though like, you know, a person, a normal person who's get, receiving this number, like this number of requests might not be able to attend Fine. everybody. Fine. So it, it's a challenge. So that's how I utilize LinkedIn. That's and uh, I would yeah and i would add as well like based upon my experiences i did get uh replies after applying or after opting for easy apply also the normal application system so i've uh, received uh, like messages from the recruiters from both the parties or from both the ends i would say so it works sure sure so how many companies you applied In um, I know, again, but <laughs> hundred uh I, i've lost count yeah. like you know i literally lost count uh probably close to 200 including uh like you know uh, so 99 percent of them uh from the uk itself because okay. i was trying to i i wanted to stay there that's why i was just prioritizing i was like not trying my level best to get a job yeah so i was like applying through a lot of portals so maybe 99 percent one percent yes in here when i came back so before we jump into the how your preparation goes, what, last one more thing is what you have changed in your LinkedIn profile and resume. Have you updated anything uh, in your LinkedIn profile to stand out from other or also in your resume so that your resume get uh, shortlisted easily. So is there anything you modified in your LinkedIn profile and resume? Uh, first of all, uh, like, you know, I would say LinkedIn is like a superpower to people. 
and uh, those who are like you know just using linkedin as a normal way of communicating or connecting with each other i would say like you know just try to work on the linkedin profile there are a lot of opportunities which you can just get while you maintain a good linkedin profile i did change a lot of information on my linkedin profile and please add uh, all the sections if you can uh, like you know whatever is important on your linkedin profile please do it because you know when linkedin recruit recruiters try their filters they like look out for a particular candidate they look out for keywords and if the keyword is there on your profile you'll be shortlisted mm-hmm. or you'll at least get a recruiter to reach out so that's what you're working on so that's one thing on the resume part yes uh, i did face a lot of like you know machine based rejections so i was really frustrated so i came across like you know i knew about ats system but again i don't like ats system because uh, again you get rejected uh, by a machine which is which is not good i i personally like you know uh, had been following uh, uh, two people from a company called as one consulting i have also shared it in my post uh, one is jonathan and jerry lee these two people are running this company and like you know if you follow their instagram or if you follow their linkedin account they give out really great steps to to in order to like you know, stand out when it comes to having a great resume like using option words sorry what's the company name one consulting w o n s u l t i n g uh run by John, Jonathan and Jerry and they both are like you know Forbes 30 and the 30 and like they have a great company uh but again i've not used their services but i've used their advices okay i follow them uh, like uh, uh both on instagram and uh, linkedin they usually post about when uh, the resumes how do you apply in a great way their advice really uh, worked out for me So I'm really thankful for the advice. So yes, I did. I did change to answer your question. I did change a lot of things on my resume as well as uh, my LinkedIn profile. Too. So okay, now uh, let's see how your interview preparation journey goes. From the starting talk, I know that eighty percent you are a front end person, twenty yes. percent you are a back end uh, involved in the back end. Yes. Okay, so yes. being a full stack engineer with Uh, majorly in front end and like on the back end. How's your preparation strategy goes? What all topics you touch, right? And uh, yeah. Um. So there is a there is a difference which I observed in uh, in the UK market, I believe, because I just been to the UK. And I've seen like you know, ninety uh, percent of the company uh, prefers the like you know uh, the real skills. rather than just following the same notion that is like you, know, you might have come across a lot of company here in india with that observed and that is like you know asking just the essay mm. uh there it's completely opposite you will be you will be asked or you will be tested upon uh take home assignments you will be you will be given a lot of tasks uh, like you know if you are a front end or if you are back end you will be given a full stack uh, project i used to get a lot of take home assignments and you had to complete that in in n number of days like you know usually the deadline is 7 days but It, it's really good for you to, in order to stand out to just come back to them in two three days. Yeah, what kind of so, assignment like a uh, building a uh, certain kind of so what generally high level what is this, uh, these assignments generally for? So basically to build a whole application uh, like you know uh, front end back end. Acha. So uh, like you know uh, so, so some of them had only front end expectation to okay. be built like you know having x x y z uh, functionality. they okay. wanted to test you how do you write code they also wanted to test like you know how do you uh, whether you know docker or not whether you know oh. containerization they wanted to test everything they wanted okay. you to write it oh. and submit it complete implementation yeah. okay got it complete implementation and once they are happy then they approve you to the next round okay so and then they ask a few questions so that's how it went and uh, then like you know the next round would be a bit of system design Mm-hmm. and that's where your content came into the picture i like was going through a lot of like you know a uh, content but again when you when you have a lot of information in in your plate you get confused so that's the disadvantage of having a lot of information at your disposal but while going through the youtube i came across your uh, videos and i would say i'm not comparing you with anybody but have you heard of akshay saini the javascript uh, uh, the master guy yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so basically, you know, uh, the the way he delivers the information, the way and the way it actually hits my brain, 
you had the same kind of like I had the same experience with your uh, like you know information and from there then and there itself I've been following a lot of videos of yours and it did help me I I did create a lot of good impacts even you know some of some of your questions came into the interviews <laughs> yeah it's so all it about been. interview yes. questions only I have been so it's... <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. It, today, it's today, then, today itself, I got a question <laughs> that book my show question is just come like this. Uh, so just believe me, this is my daily LinkedIn messages. They are like this. This question directly has been asked in this company because in LNG, yeah. very less choice of questions are there, and all are there. Right. So this is I know that this uh, are very limited set, and I thank glad to know that man. It helps. Uh, you have assignments, uh, then verification, then your projects, uh, six years experience project, then system design rounds. So mostly this is what the UK company's pattern seems like. Correct. Right? Yes. But yes, you uh, got hired by an Indian company, right? This is an Indian company, right? Or in India, yes. right? So, so, so is there any difference in, in India? India? This is in India, but it's a US based company. Oh, it's a US based uh, like, company. Okay, got it. Yeah. MNC, uh, so, it, is there any difference you find out in an interview pro, uh, pattern? Yes, uh, like 100%. I don't say. <laughs> so, here, no take home assignment. Again, that's what, that's the reason why I mentioned because, you know, I've been giving interviews previously while I was in India. Uh, and uh, I saw that, you know, there is a lot of, not a lot of scope or there's a lot of like, a, not a lot of testing on your uh, like you know real skills or maybe you know tech stack based uh it's it's pro mostly like you know your core skills uh -huh. and maybe you know a bit of coding like they they give you a coding like you know online coding but here uh like you know the game was completely different i've been tested on my core skills again i was given uh like a problem which i had to solve uh a codability test i would say and uh, uh apart from that yes yeah, so, uh, if you want to crack a company in India, I would say like, you know, with your problem solving skills, work on your, like, you know, a language which you work very thoroughly because they will test you. And I had to go through the same kind of like testing. And again, I was, I was a senior, senior engineer. So the expectation was that I must know a low level concepts as well with the high level information. For example, I had been tested on low level JavaScript. I had been tested on TypeScript, low level, high level, both. Then I've been tested on how web works. If we, I know back end how node works, so question around that concept. Okay, so so I, I, that's pretty much I have. But one more information: How out of two hundred companies you said almost you applied? How many interviews you have given? Out of two hundred, how many companies you got shortlisted? Uh, I believe that I I've given close to fifty five to sixty interviews. Okay, okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty much from my side. Okay, man, like stay connected, right? And uh, I will post your LinkedIn profile into the description section. If anybody reach out to you, if you think you can help, so please go ahead, man. No, thank you very much. Like, you know, people like you gives us a lot of motivation, inspiration, and uh, like, you know, it would be a great honor if I would be able to help somebody. Yeah, thank you.